everyone, welcome to the channel. We are back and today we have a couple of announcements to share. First, we have a new rig. As you can see, we are back in a Tiffin Class A motor home. And for those of you that have been with us since the beginning, you'll recall we started in a Tiffin motor home. It was the open road 36 UA model with a Ford V10 engine on a Ford chassis. This Tiffin is the Allegro bus. It's the 40 AP model with a 450 horsepower Cummins diesel on the Power Glide chassis. And man, we have been very impressed with the ride. We have a full video coming on why we chose to leave the fifth wheel and return to a Class A motorhome that will include a full tour of this ring. Yeah, we picked the Tiffin up in Orlando, Florida yep. and drove some 2,000 miles out here to South Dakota. Which brings us to our second announcement. And why are we in South Dakota? Because we are now officially full-time RVers and our domicile state is South Dakota. We came out here to get our driver's license, our tags, as well as take care of some other business um, while here. Yeah, but for the past two, three months, we've been extremely busy preparing for the transition, mm -hmm. which is why we haven't been uh, creating content and sharing any content on the channel, yep. is getting the house ready for the market, uh, giving things okay. away, uh, selling some things, mm -hmm. and putting things away in storage. And then, of course, listing the house on the market, which was under contract within three or four days. Right. And for those of you who have done this in the past, transitioning full time, you know exactly what we're talking about. Yep. Why would anyone care if we have moved to full-time? Well, as it relates to the channel, more content, of course, um, which is one of the questions we've been asked often. Why don't you guys create more yeah. content videos? Yeah, right? now we think it's full-time RVers that's gonna help create the opportunities to make more, hopefully, meaningful content for the channel and for the subscribers. Yep. So what is lesson number one we learned about going full-time? make sure you have your RV when you sell your house. Yeah, one of the hiccups we had was uh, with the Grand Design Momentum, it was in the shop for some warranty work that was supposed to take about two weeks. Yep. Well, it took four weeks. So come closing day, we didn't have an RV. We didn't. But just before that, the RV dealership did allow us to move some of our stuff in while it yep. was in the shop. And again, closing day, no RV. So, so we actually stayed in one of Daryl's brother's driveway in his RV while our RV was being finished. But anyway, as mentioned earlier, we're in South Dakota and since we're here, we thought we would share a lost video from this year's Sturgis Rally. Yeah, so let's ride. And just like every day during the rally, we depart Chris's campground. And this area right here is the tent area. And now we move to the section where the RVs are located. And as you can see, during the rally, Chris's campground, like most campgrounds around here, are filled to capacity. And on this particular morning, we're heading to a meetup that we had scheduled at the Stonehouse Saloon. And before arriving at the Stonehouse Saloon for the meetup, we enjoyed some of the beauty of South Dakota. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, make sure you smash the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and hit that bell notification so you'll see when we upload the next video. Stonehouse Saloon. Just check out the backdrop to this place with the beautiful rolling hills and this week surrounded by motorcycles. And 
as you can tell by the worn pastures, we're not the first ones here. Yeah, no doubt. So we park the bikes and we go to the Wall of Heroes. Yeah, and at the meetup, we met some wonderful people, including some we met at last year's rally, like Mark and Patty from Missouri and Jason from Nevada. We met some people from California, from Colorado, Oklahoma, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Kansas, New Jersey. And we even had a dear friend of ours show up who's a local here in South Dakota. We call him Daddy-O. And as you know, Bill and Andy were doing a joint meetup with us, and they were there meeting people. And man, it was just a great time. And several of our subscribers said that they appreciated us having the meetup at the Stone House because without it, they would have never known about this place. Yeah, it seems like everybody who comes here enjoys it. Yeah. So, after the meetup, and since we were so close to Wyoming, we thought that we would swing by Devil's Tower. Hey bro, you ready? And I always enjoy the exit from the Stonehouse Saloon. I'm not sure what this is, if it's a storm drain or if it's just a tunnel to move livestock from one side of the interstate to the other. But for now, Let's ride to Devil's Tower. Like we said, we were close to Wyoming. And Wyoming offers roads just as beautiful to ride as South Dakota. Just up ahead, that's our first sight of Devil's Tower. We're still several miles away from it. In fact, we're gonna cut through the small town of Hewlett, Wyoming. And let me tell you, they get in on the action during the Sturgis Rally. And every time we come through this town, it's really hopping. So next year, we definitely have to stop. And again, another look at this out of the world wonder, and David was loving it, as were we. And we're not doing a full video on the Devil's Tower. We did that at last year's rally. I'll link it down below in case you missed it. didn't go into the national park, we certainly passed by it and took some pictures. Yeah. And after photos, we visited the Devil's Tower Trading Post for a quick bit of hydration. What a great time we had meeting our subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming out. And while we're in Wyoming, let's take you to the Blue Ride, which is a ride to support first responders. And it begins at the Deluxe Harley Davidson in Sundance, Wyoming. And this ride is organized by Belle and Andy of Belle's Rides. We had a great turnout. Not to mention, the sponsors really picked it up this year as well. In fact, we won a couple of things. That's right. 
And this year's ride was in honor of Sacramento Police Officer Tara O'Sullivan. Officer O'Sullivan made the ultimate sacrifice when she responded to a domestic call on June 19th, 2019. Officer O'Sullivan had been with their agency for six months and was only 26 years old. And this year's proceeds for the Blue Ride would go to the Domestic Violence Foundation chosen by the family of Officer O'Sullivan. And now it's time to ride. And it was our honor as well as David's to be the Grand Marshal of this event. We won't show you the entire ride, but as you can see, it was beautiful scenery as we reflected on our first responders. Well, that's all we have for this video, and we hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, listen, we look forward to our future as full-time RVers. Yep. So stay tuned for more content coming. And uh, until next time, be, be well, well and, and stay, stay safe. safe.